Making what's actually old look new again is a huge business for homes, cars, and of course, humans. These museum artifacts also often need a little nip and tuck. Here at the Henry Ford, artists and scientists use all sorts of innovative ways to make the more mature artifacts look youthful, vibrant, and fresh. Maybe the museum just needs a little moisturizer or Motox. I'm trademarking that. Behind the grandeur at the Henry Ford Museum behind the early innovations that draw a straight line from past to present, there is a team of details people, inventive artists and chemists who are passionate about the little things that make the big things shine. Mary Fahey is chief conservator at the Henry Ford Museum. I haven't been in this room before. What goes on here? This is the Artifact Conservation Lab. We take care of the collections and preserve them, hopefully, for the future. From automobiles to documents, every artifact on display here, and even those in storage, has received the TLC of these conservators and their broad yet highly specialized skill set. The collection of the Henry Ford consists of just about everything. We have silver, jewelry, fabrics, paper, wooden artifacts, communication artifacts. If someone is coming through the Henry Ford and looking at an artifact you've worked on, it's a success if the work isn't noticeable. Yes, definitely. It should always be understated. We always shoot for the old but well cared for look, not the bright and shiny all the time. And with new artifacts coming in all the time, there's a revolving door of work to be done. Mary says a lot of the conservators started out as artists or craftspeople, but they are also historians and chemists. They study what things are made of, also how they degrade. They aim to slow that process. Is there one artifact that above all others, you're proud of the work that's been done here? I think um, I would say the Abraham Lincoln chair. It's the chair that Abraham Lincoln was sitting in at Ford's Theater on the day that he was assassinated. We would never imagine restoring it. We would never imagine taking the old stained upholstery off and putting new upholstery on because the history of that chair is rooted in all the various stains that are on that chair and all the various things that have happened in that chair over the years. I wanted to get a closer look at a work in progress, so Mary sent me up to meet Fran Fail. Fran is a textile conservator at the Henry Ford. What are you working on? So this is a quilt from the 1830s. 1830s? Yep. And it has what we call inherent vice. Inherent vice means that the artifact contains the seeds of its own destruction. So the black dyes in this are actually destroying the fibers because the dyes contain a lot of metal salts. Inherent vice, seeds of its own destruction. What went on in this quilt? This quilt, just like every artifact here, has a story in every delicate stitch. And that's a detail not lost on the laser-focused conservators who work hard to give voice to every single unique item in the museum. 